At 4QD, we bang on a lot about motor noise suppression. Why? Because we don't like our controllers to go wrong. Customers have the aggravation of downtime, and we have the aggravation of having to fix them. Let's start with a quick explanation of what's going on. If a motor has brushes, then it will almost certainly generate small sparks or arcs between the brushes and the commutator segments. As the motor gets older, the brushes wear away and the arcing gets worse. Have a look at the back end of this old power drill. Now arcs are a prime source of radio frequency interference, or RFI. And if left alone, this interference can get transmitted by the motor wires and picked up by the sensitive el electronics inside the controller. If the interference is strong enough, it can cause the MOSFETs to latch up, which will short circuit the supply and make the MOSFETs explode. You can see the noise from a motor without suppression components on the oscilloscope here. Now have a look at the same motor with suppression components fitted. Fortunately, there are four simple and cheap steps that you can take to reduce the likelihood of this happening. Step one is to fit a motor suppression capacitor. If your motor doesn't already have one, a 10 nanofarad, 100 volt disc ceramic will do nicely. This needs to be fitted as close to the motor brushes as possible, and we use a chock block style connector for this. Step two, fit ferrite beads to the motor wires. These make it harder for any interference that does get past the capacitor to move along the motor wires. The number of turns you can get depends on the wire thickness, one pass through is okay, two is better. Step three, twist the motor wires together. If any interference has got past the capacitor and the ferrite beads, twisting the motor wires will stop it being transmitted out into the air. If you can't twist them together, then at least tape them as close together as possible. Having them separate creates a loop antenna that will be good at transmitting in interference. Step four, keep the motor wires away from other wiring as far as possible. They are carrying significant currents that are being switched very quickly. And this creates electrical noise which can be coupled into the adjacent wiring. This is what we use on our test rig and this has been pr running pretty much every weekday for five years now. And we haven't had a single MOSFET failure on it. You can build a system without noise suppression and it will likely run okay. Maybe even for years. But to quote Inspector Callahan. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do you feel lucky?